I'm going to tell you about all electric cars that are coming to the United States this year and there are 26 of them. So let's get going. Acura ZDX. Now, much like its parent company Honda, it is a little late to the electric car revolution. And by a little, I mean a lot. But this is not a bad offering right here, about 325 miles. That's what Acura is promising, which is pretty decent, 0 to 60 in about 5 seconds. And the starting price, uh, a little hefty, between 60 and $70,000, but they will figure it out. Uh, it is coming to the US, but not likely to come to Europe. The Cadillac Escalade is finally going electric. The Escalade IQ, the full luxury SUV with a full luxury price of starting at $130,000. Max range 450 miles. That's what GM is promising, which is quite impressive. Zero to 60 in less than five seconds. And it looks like uh, the Cadillac Lyric is going to have a big brother it always wanted. The Canoe pickup truck. Now, I gotta say, I never thought this one was going to ever enter the market, but Canoe has started delivering their minivans at the end of 2023, so the pickup is next. 200 plus miles of range, which is not very impressive, but it depends on what price they're going to put on this truck. 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. I guess this is one of those times when a period does ruin a good thing. And of course, this is something that I think the market needs because it looks like the canoe pickup truck designers hate the sharp angles as much as Tesla designers love them. So this is the anti Cybertruck. All right, let's move on to the next one. And it is the Chevy Equinox EV is finally entering the market. The Chevy will continue making the gas version of the Equinox. And a lot of people are looking forward to this one because it is supposed to start at around $36,000 with over 300 miles of EPA range, zero to 60 in 5.9 seconds. And if Chevy is able to keep that starting price, I think it's actually going to be pretty successful. Moving on to the next one, and it is the DeLorean Alpha 5. Yes, the DeLorean is back, but it is a very different company at this point. Now, they did get smarter, and they're not making it out of the stainless steel, so they will save all of the trouble that the Cybertruck owners will be going through with over 300 miles of range, 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. This one is going to be very, very interesting. Let's see if they can actually resurrect this icon. The Dodge Charger is finally going electric. The Dodge Charger EV is supposed to be coming out this year, though we don't know much about it. Not the price, not the specs, but we do know that if Dodge was to survive, it does need to go electric, and this is the best way to do it. I cannot wait to watch uh, the electric version of the Charger kick the gas version's ass. I just cannot wait. Moving on, the Fiat 500e is finally coming to America. They've been selling it in Europe for about three years now, and it's all going to be about the price because the specs at 150 miles and 0 to 60 at 9 seconds are not very impressive, so the price better be. Let's see what happens, but it does have a pretty good following, so it should sell in decent numbers. The GMC Sierra is going electric and we do need another electric pickup truck on the market. Now, we don't know if the starting price of $50,000 that GM is promising is going to be available this year, but at some point it will. It will have over 400 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, and it is definitely going to be welcomed into the market. The gas version will absolutely be kept on the market as well. All right, before before we move on to the next one, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by EnergyPal. Are you thinking about going solar but not sure what panels to get, whether or not to get a home battery, or how much all of this is going to cost? Well, EnergyPal will do all of that for you and you will get a $500 gift card when your installation is complete if you use the link in the description of this video. Oh, and they even have this EV calculator that will tell you exactly what system to get so it can handle charging your EV all year round. That link is down there as well. All right, back to the list. The Honda Prologue is something that Honda definitely needs out there because they have already embarrassed themselves 
trying to come up with an electric car in Honda E and that was a disaster so this is their second take at it and this one appears to be a pretty decent crossover with over 300 miles 0 to 60 in 4 seconds and it looks pretty good so depending on what price tag they're going to put on this EV this should be at least a very moderate success. All right, now we gotta talk about this one. The Volkswagen ID Buzz is finally coming to the US. It's been on the market in Europe for a couple of years now. Now, I don't know if Volkswagen has done enough to resurrect this icon, and I think European sales prove me right. The specs that we're expecting here in the US are not that impressive, but they're not that bad. Around 250 miles of EPA range, uh, 0 to 60 in about 6.5 seconds, and the starting price at around $70,000. But let's see how it does with old farts like me. I think there are quite a few of us that would be interested, and we definitely need a minivan on the market, especially with some history. The Volvo EX30, it's been available in Europe and China, and now it's coming to America in 2024 with some very decent specs of 275 miles, 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds, but what makes it all very impressive is the starting price of just $35,000. I gotta tell you, I've been very impressed with the Volvo brand overall and their EVs because of their modern design and the fact that their infotainment system is run on Android Automotive OS. That is a big, big perk. Unless you have an iPhone, then it's not really a big deal. All right, the next EV is the Audi Q6 e-tron. Yet another electric Audi. I'm looking forward to this one. We don't know much about it, but it is supposed to hit both the US and European markets in 2024. But we do know that the range is going to be closer to 400 miles at around 373. Let's see how it does as the addition to the Audi electric vehicle family and the bigger Volkswagen Group electric vehicle family. The Cadillac Celestic. Now this is a big one. This is the full-size ultra luxury lift back and the price is going to be Celestic as well. Starting at, ready? 340 thousand american dollars with 300 miles of range zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds it will be available in the u.s and europe a little bit later and i gotta tell you they're not gonna be making too many of them but this is gonna be one awesome electric car all right let's get to the next one and it is the hyundai ionic 7 now hyundai has done really really well with electric cars and specifically the ionic brand this is going to be yet another success i can tell you already even though we don't know too much about the specs uh, the range is going to be over 300 miles. That's pretty much the only thing that we know, but it is coming to the US and Europe in 2024. Now, what you're looking at right now is the concept called 7 by Hyundai, but it looks like Ionic 7 is going to be based on that. So expect the design to be very similar. All right, what's next? The Jeep Recon. Yes, Jeep is finally going electric and this is going to be the electric version of the Jeep Wrangler, though we don't know much about it. We don't know any specs, we don't know a price, we just know they're doing it. And they're doing it in 2024. They're gonna be bringing it to the US first and Europe and other global markets to follow. But that's all we know. I'm just excited that Jeep is finally joining uh, the century. The Jeep Wagoneer is going electric. There's obviously the gas version, but the electric version is the Wagoneer S. And I gotta tell you, it's got some pretty impressive specs at 400 miles of range, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. We don't know the price, but I would say expect nothing less than $70,000. It is coming to America first in 2024 and then Europe and other global markets. I am excited that Jeep is going electric. It's just about time and we just need to hope that they are going to be ready for the off-road experiences which are different in electric vehicles. The Lotus EMEA. Now, you may be surprised to hear that this is not uh, Lotus's first electric car. It's not even their second electric car. Now, we don't know too much about it, not the price, not the specs, but we do know the most important spec of any sports car, which is 0 to 60. It will be 2.78 seconds, which is not that bad. It is coming to all global markets 2024. 
and it is a beauty. Moving on, the Lucid Gravity. Now, this is the second car from Lucid, and even though they've had all kinds of production problems, they are the best at two most important things when it comes to electric cars, which is the range and the charging time. So take this one seriously. It's a full-sized SUV. It's a luxury SUV, over 440 miles of range, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, and I think it's pretty good looking. It's coming to the US in 2024 and to Europe after that. All right, now we got to talk about this one. The Mini Ace Man. This is yet another mini electric car and this one has a mini range at about 204 EPA equivalent miles. Unfortunately, we don't know anything else about the car, including the price. If you price it right, this could be a great electric choice. But if you price it too high, like Honda likes to do, this could be a disaster. It's coming to Europe and America and all over the world in 2024. And I gotta tell you, it's actually pretty good looking, don't you think? The Polestar 3, one of three new Polestars coming to the market this year. And I gotta tell you, the Polestar 2, to my surprise, has done very, very well. Obviously, it is a sub-brand of Volvo. It's got the infotainment system that's based on the Android Automotive OS, which I think is a huge perk. This one is going to have over 300 miles of range. The starting price is about $84,000, 0 to 60 in about 4.6 seconds. It's coming to the US, it's coming to Europe this year, and I, 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 I can't even tell you whether or not it's going to do well because I've been wrong about this one. So I think it's safe to assume that it's going to do at least as well as the Polestar 2. All right, let's get to the next one. And it is the Polestar 4 along with the Polestar 3 and Polestar 5 all coming to the market this year. This one's got pretty decent specs, uh, just like the rest of them, over 300 miles of range. It's going to start at around $60,000 and zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds. As always, I'm going to mention this because the infotainment system is based on the Android Automotive OS, which I think is a huge perk. And of course, it is a sub brand of Volvo. Coming to the US and Europe in 2024. The Polestar Precept or the Polestar 5, I don't know which name they're going to go with, but whichever it's going to be, it's going to be one of the three new Polestars on the market. They've done very, very well with the Polestar 2. We don't know much about this one. This is going to be an executive sedan. Pretty much no pricing or specs have been revealed, but I'm going to assume it's going to fall in line with the rest of them, probably with over 300 miles of range, but I'm going to assume this one will start closer to a hundred thousand american dollars it's going to be available in the us and europe this year 2024. the ram 1500 is finally going electric they are at least one year late because of the ford f-150 the silverado they're both gone electric already of course there is the cybertruck and rivian and a couple of others that are already coming to the market as well but they are promising pretty impressive specs, especially when it comes to the range at 500 miles, 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds, and they're coming to both the US and Europe. I expect that they're going to be probably closer to the end of the year because Ram has been dragging their feet into the electrified future, but I am excited that Ram is finally here as well. The Range Rover is finally going electric, though I'm not really sure how serious they are about it because they didn't even bother come up with a cool name or any name except for the Range Rover Electric. As a matter of fact, I have to show you their hybrid version because they don't really have much of a video or the specs or the price for the electric version, even though they are saying they're coming to the US and Europe in 2024. Instead, they have, you know, this video, which mainly features the girl here, which I don't mind, but Aren't we supposed to be talking about the car? The Volkswagen ID7, this one's going to be an executive sedan. Not too many manufacturers make those anymore, but I love them. Over 300 miles of EPA equivalent range with a pretty decent starting price with just above $60,000 converted from euros. We don't know too much about it, but I do expect that Volkswagen is going to try to impress us and make this a relatively luxury car. It's coming to the US, to Europe and China this year, and I am looking forward to it. The Volvo EX90. I cannot stop talking about how impressed I am by Volvo. Only 10 years ago, I wouldn't consider buying one, but now their designs are beautiful. 
beautiful. They have gone electric pretty successfully. Their specs are pretty decent, including this one. I'll tell you about them in a second. And I cannot stop telling you guys that it is an Android-based operating system inside the car, which I think is a huge perk. Now, this one starts at around $77,000, which is fair because it's a full-sized SUV. 300 miles of range and 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. All pretty decent specs for the US and Europe where it's coming to in 2024. All right, let me know which one you're rooting for. And if you want to know about all electric cars that are coming on the market this year, I've put all of them together in one video and you can check it out right here. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.